Hi everybody, it's Mystery Monday. This is Erin Robinson uh, from the Dairy Public Library. Today I am setting up a wonderful, fun, super exciting scavenger hunt that has to do with ghosts. So you guys are gonna access old newspapers similar to what we did last week with the Dairy News Archives, only you're gonna look in um, the newspapers over at the Library of Congress, Chronicling America Archive. So I'm gonna do in this video a quick tutorial of how to navigate that website, just a quick overview. If you already know that website or if you're pretty good with digital archives, you might not need to watch this video. You can jump straight to the scavenger hunt in the description box below. Otherwise, if this is new to you, hang on and we're gonna go right over there and just see how to do it. So in order to access the um, Dairy News Archives, sorry, the, <laughs> the Library of Congress Archives, you're gonna go to Google or wherever you wanna go and zip over to Chronicling America. So I would just type in Chronicling America and there you go. And then once you're, you can see it's Chronic Chronicling America. That is so hard for me to say. Library of Congress, uh, it is made possible by the a partnership between the Library of Congress and the National Endowment for the Humanities. They have uh, collected newspapers and digitized many of them from 1789 to 1963. So if you wanna know more about this great partnership, you can read all about Chronicling America over on the left-hand side here. It has a tab that goes over all of that. Today, we're just gonna do a quick rundown of their main search engine here. So as you can see at the top of the page, you have the option to choose by state if you want, and then uh, date ranges, and then right here, entering words. So when you're uh, looking at one of the questions that I create for you, say there's a great keyword in it like ghost cat, you can go ahead and put that into the keyword and see what you find. Now we're doing a really broad search of lots of different states and a big date range here. So it's obviously giving me many, many results. And you can see all of those results right here. Look how many we have. Um, however, I do want to just show you an example of what uh, you're looking for, you know, what, how to click into these. So when you get a result page, you're going to go ahead and click into the results. You can do that by this uh, link here or by clicking on the page itself and it'll bring you right in. At the top, it shows you where it's from. So here's the evening public ledger, February 11th, 1921, showing you page 12, image 12. Uh, it also shows you that on the newspaper itself, the evening public ledger, Philadelphia, Friday, February 11th, 1921. And then you can navigate with the, page, the images here or with the pages here. Now, when you put in keywords, it's gonna highlight them on the page for you. So you'll look for those little highlights and then you can zoom in on them. At the top, you can use the zoom in and out buttons right here on the left-hand side, zoom in, zoom out. Or you can just use your, uh, if you have a keypad, a touchpad, that's what I usually do to zoom in. And then I can get a better view of my article and read it. Cause you're gonna probably have to read a couple of the articles to actually answer the question. So in this case, we're looking at Ghost Cat, and we see, okay, it's Dreamland Adventures, Rascal Rat by Daddy, Chapter 5. That's clearly a serial. Um, it looks like it might have continued from previous pages or previous um, uh, dates. Uh, and then this is just the next chapter in the story. The ones that I'm giving you for this hunt aren't, uh, aren't, part of a serial. It's just um, usually how a ghost was recorded or if there was a sighting of a ghost, it would appear in the newspaper. So that's basically what you're gonna look for. Oh, to navigate from one page to the other, if you did wanna look at the next page, you can do that right up here. You just click to go to the next page, okay? And then you can read on and on. You can zoom in and out. Now say you wanna do a really specific search. Um, I want to just show you a question because then you can look at a question in terms of how you might use that question and get information out of that question to create a better search result. So say we look at this question 
In 1900, the Times reported an incident with a ghost cat. What was that article called? So right here, I have a little different pieces of information. First of all, I have in 1900. So I know the date, right? And then, I'm trying to show that to you so it's clear, but you know, struggled. Um, so you know the date range. You can use that when you're searching. I also, what else do I know? I know it was from the Times. So that's really useful to me as well. And then finally, I'm gonna look for some interesting keywords that are useful, like this one, the ghost cat. So those three things I can really use for my search. Um, I will show you the advanced search so you can then utilize these. So let's go back to Chronicling America and let's click on the advanced search tab. So here's the advanced search. And here we see you can select uh, different states. You can narrow in by state. I didn't have that in that question, so I'm not gonna use that. I can uh, narrow in by newspaper. I can also select different years in the date range, and I can use different phrases. I could do a, a, a word search where I want it to include any of the words, all of the words, or with the exact phrase. I really like the exact phrase search for this scavenger hunt. So let's say I know that the newspaper I'm looking for is the Times. So I'm going to go over here and if I click on one of these I actually can say that I can write Times and it'll bring me down to the Times. So I can see the Times promoter, ooh, and here's the Times in Richmond, Virginia, Washington, D.C. and also Michigan, sorry for butchering that. Um, I'm on, I don't know which one it's in, so I want to select all of them. So I'll click on one and then I'm going to hit shift, hold it down and click on the times, uh, both of those. That way it's searching all three. I'm, I know that it was from 1900, right? So I'm going to narrow in on 1900 and choose that. And that's going to be my whole range. And then I also want to say ghost cat. Ghost cat. And hopefully when I click this, my search results will be much more specific. So let's see. Yes. So because I used very specific details, I got very specific results. And that's great. So I have something from the Times of Washington. I'm going to go ahead and click into it. And in the question, it asked for what this article was called, right? So we're going to look. I'm going to zoom in on my highlights again. Okay, the article is called Worried by a Ghost Cat. Race of a Departed Feline Pursues Its Destroyer. It's originally from the Denver Times. It's important to note that because it's not like Washington's only going to include news from Washington. Oftentimes there's like a world news aspect or something from uh, different areas of the country. So this one is an absolutely ridiculous article. Um, you definitely, if you have time and you wanna go look, you certainly can. This one isn't in the scavenger hunt because I didn't want to do any spoilers. So uh, it's, it's hilarious. This is a hilarious article. I was just amazed and astounded and a bit worried. So <laughs> go ahead and read that. Um, what you also could do, if you're only given a title, you could use worried by, if you knew the title and you wanted to find it later, you could use worried by a ghost cat in the exact phrase search and find it. So you might run into one of those somewhere. That's all I have for just quick ways of navigating this website. Um, I don't think you'll need anything besides that today. Obviously, if you see something fascinating, you can keep it. Uh, you can download it via PDF or JPEG or do a little clip and keep it on your computer so you can access it again later. I think that's a great feature. Uh, so that's that. So what you're gonna do now is hopefully go ahead down into the description box below, click on the job form, open the scavenger hunt, go to Chronicling America and search for ghosts. Have fun. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at erinr at dairypl.org. I would love to hear from you and enjoy.